What's up guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Skylar and today I'm going to be doing a following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I actually like art so I don't expect this to be like terrible but I've never followed a Bob Ross painting tutorial so it's going to be an adventure. So I went to um, Hobby Lobby a little bit ago and I got this grapey thingy because I know that that's how Bob Ross does his like mountains or whatever. I also got a new um, paint palette thingy but someone threw it away in my house so I'm just going to be using paper plates which is fine I just need to get a new one. And I don't have all the colors that he has so we're going to improvise and we're going to have to mix them. Yeah, let's just get started. Okay, I don't have liquid white or whatever, but I know that um, it's just used to put on the canvas so that things are easier to mix. But I'm just going to mix them on a paper plate, so I don't really care. And also I'm using acrylic and not oil, so that's probably going to be an issue. I don't know where my easel is either, so. Maybe we'll have a beautiful little sky that's just full of warm colors. As I say, sort of makes you feel good when you look at it. Crisscross okay. Okay. So, it looks like I'm a, like a light yellowish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix it. Okay, you're going too fast. You know, I wanted to film this video for like months and months, but I just never got to it. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I think it's too dark. He said to put it in the water also, so. I have a really bad time with judging something when it's only halfway done. And then I get frustrated with myself, so I'm not going to do that this time. It's just a little bit of the bright red. And right up here, making our little X's, little crisscross strokes. Oh, we're doing red. Okay, whatever you say, Bob, whatever you say. It's like definitely way darker than his, but we're going to try and use this brush maybe. Maybe that's a mistake. It's a mistake. There's hair getting mm. into it. Take a little bit of the thalo blue and alizarin crimson and mix them together. Right on the Where are those brush. colors? I'm under color. We're just, we're just filling the top of the sky. It seems like I'm not supposed to leave space to put this um, lavender, and I didn't, so I'll be back when I fix that. I kind of fixed the top, so we're just going to move on with it. Our world there lives. Yep, you're right. Just a happy little cloud. Alright, we're getting somewhere. I'm either like really messing this up or it's going to turn out good. And I don't know which one that's going to be. Now then while we have that lavender color on the brush, the blue and the crimson, we'll just come down here and fill in the whole bottom of this. So I'm doing the bottom now. I've basically somewhat fixed the bottom, kind of. We're just going to keep watching. Maybe some Van Dyke Brown. So I'm making a mountain. And now I'm nervous. Pull the paint out as flat as you can get it. Really get tough. Black, one. brown, or blue. Cut across. Get our little roll of paint. It lives right on the edge of the knife. I'm honestly nervous because I don't. Maybe in our world. Yep. Oh. Right there. With a very firm pressure. Just literally push the paint. It's not working. These mountains are really hard. Um, he keeps telling me to add some, and I don't know what he's doing at all. Oh, God. I don't think I'm doing this right. It, I don't know how to use this thing. Did I do it? Ugh. I don't really know what this is, but he wants me to add highlights now. I thought we were done with this thing, but I guess not. I don't know about that. He's going too fast. How's he doing this? I'm so confused. Not how he's doing it. Oh. So maybe that's a good analogy. Good way to remember. Just be a whisper that floats across here. I don't really know what's going on, but I kind of am just stopping because every time I keep touching it, I'm just making it worse. I like to have a lot of depth in my paintings, so by, we'll just put another little range of mountains right now here. Now I have to make more mountains. Let's see if I can do it this time. Sort of. I have really no idea what I'm doing or what this is. He said to do it, so I'm doing it. Now he's telling me to add some green in. It doesn't look right. What in the world is going on? So we're gonna make some trees now. 
right? Okay, these are supposed to be way over more. That's an issue. I the trees, and now I'm going to be making some bushes at the bottom. Um, I don't know how this is really going. I'm just kind of winging it. What happened to color up in these? Oh my god, it's going all the way to the bottom. Oh god. <sighs> Honestly, this is very stressful. Oh! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? It's okay. This is a mess. It's gonna have to be good enough. Oh my. I see what we're doing. This is gonna end up making it look like a river. I, okay. So Bob wants me to do color bushes. I've added the bushes and I did the tree trunks or whatever. So um, let's see what he wants to do now. The very dark color. Remember that your light's coming predominantly from the right in this painting. So we're adding highlights to the tree. I'm so sick of these trees. I'm gonna mess this up and it's gonna screw up the trees even more. Okay, that didn't really ruin it. The highlights and the trees are all done and now I'm just adding land. He made it like more defined kind of like. Ugh, I don't. I don't wanna ruin it. Brown and white. Cause that kinda looks good. It's something. The angles are very important here. Very important. Angles are important. Okay. Okay, now he's drawing water lines. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, does it look like Bob's? Um, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did bad on it though. It might go up on my room. Here's the final product. <laughs> if you like this video, um, get a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Hope you had a good day and that you're smiling. And yeah, bye. <laughs>